Hello, I'm here today to share an announcement about the future of Deaf Can Do and the Royal South Australian Deaf Society. Throughout 2020 and 2021, I met with over 70 community members to understand what you wanted now and into the future. I welcomed all feedback and what I continued to be told was there is an unhappiness about decisions being made in the past particularly around the 2014 sale of 262 South Terrace, along with the merger of the Royal South Australian Deaf Society and Townsend House. The fact that the Can Do Group is not deaf-led also constantly came up as a contentious issue in conversations. Much of this I addressed in my subsequent letters to the community. It is important to mention that the dissatisfaction was not about the quality of individual services our clients receive. I cannot change the past, but I can influence the future. That's why after 15 years of trying to meet the expectations of the deaf community, myself and the Can Do Group Board decided it was time to find a different way. From the end of April, all Deaf Can Do services will be delivered by Deaf Connect. After this transfer, the Can Do Group will close the Royal South Australian Deaf Society and Deaf Can Do. I know this may be a shock. I acknowledge the long history of the Royal South Australian Deaf Society name. However, the board and I truly believe that this is what's best for the deaf community and our workforce. Many of you would already know Deaf Connect. They are a leader in the way they provide services to the deaf communities of Australia with a heavy emphasis on engaging a deaf-led workforce and board. We discovered through early conversations that both organizations were like-minded in wanting the best for the deaf community in South Australia. This highlighted the alignment between what the community want and what Deaf Connect can provide. We undertook a robust due diligence process and the result was both the Can Do Group and Deaf Connect were convinced that the shared desired outcomes would be reached by transferring services from Deaf Can Do to Deaf Connect. In addition to all Deaf Can Do staff being guaranteed work with Deaf Connect, the Can Do Group is handing over a significant amount of money to ensure the future of services for the Deaf community in South Australia and are ensuring that all future bequests and donations for the Royal South Australian Deaf Society also go to Deaf Connect. Since 2007, the Can Do Group has been committed to increasing accessibility an excellent service provision to the deaf community of South Australia. We are proud of many of our achievements over this time, such as leading a national program allowing the continuation of vital drop-in facilities for the deaf community, creating an education program specifically addressing the lack of skilled Auslan interpreters, and successfully initiating programs with a number of South Australian government departments to improve access to information for Auslan users. If you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out to me via the following. You can email me at ceo at defcando.com.au or you can SMS or video message at 0427 207076. If you receive services from Deaf Can Do, there will be no disruption and our team will be in contact with you individually. The Deaf community have already supported Deaf Connect coming to South Australia and I hope you continue to do so. I would now like to introduce Brett Casey, CEO of Deaf Connect. Hello, I'm Brett Casey, CEO of Deaf Connect, formerly known as the Deaf Services and Deaf Society. 
we want to share a very exciting opportunity for the South Australian deaf community. Deaf Connect is a national deaf-led organisation. Deaf Services and the Deaf Society have shared a very similar journey, history and experience to the Royal South Australian Deaf Society. We have staff located right across Australia and have recently provided support services to the Deaf Seniors in South Australia, quite successfully. Deaf Connect is honoured that the Can Do Group has offered services specifically for the deaf community, like interpreting, NDIS, support services and others. This offer we took seriously and considered what was best as an outcome for the deaf community in South Australia. We have accepted this offer and are looking forward to positive growth and new opportunities for South Australia. Also for the staff who will be joining Deaf Connect and our team. It's a really positive outcome that we're very excited about. We want to recognise the history and the culture of the South Australian Deaf community and the Royal South Australian Deaf Society. Through this process, we are committed to Deaf leadership to ensuring that we value our culture, community and language. It's of the utmost importance. It's exciting to be able to grow services, programs and projects into South Australia. We'll also be able to provide education and training into South Australia. Deaf leadership, deaf youth, the deaf ecosystem, deaf history are all important elements for us. And South Australia will be benefiting from our grants program, where we disperse around $300,000 every year to different projects, whether it be a deaf club, a deaf group or deaf individuals for them to achieve their goals. We have the impact team on board who work together to campaign government to ensure that they can advocate for better benefits for the deaf Australian community. Day one into South Australia will be commencing Tuesday the 26th of April. The staff will be joining and transferring across to Deaf Connect. So we want to support them to ensure that that is a very smooth transition and to ensure that you receive ongoing quality services. We really feel that we're going to thrive having these employees a part of a national deaf-led organisation. It's really exciting. This Friday, we'll be having two community forums, one from 10 till 12 for the deaf seniors and one from 6 till 8 for the general community. Both sessions would be at Goodwood Community Centre I will be in attendance, as will some board members and my team. We are looking forward to having a chance to chat with you, take on your questions and share our visions and plans for the future into South Australia. We'll also be posting frequently asked questions and videos to ensure that you're getting information out quite clearly, to ensure that you feel that you've been a part of our journey and a part of our future. So to you, the South Australian Deaf community, welcome to the Deaf Connect family. We really look forward to meeting and working with you for a bright future for all of us. Thank you.